Hi, it's Kip K back with another weekend project from the pages of Make Magazine. I'll be the first to admit I enjoy an occasional frosty beverage. Mm hmm. But out of all the things I've made over the years, I've never made my own beer. Now, I have some friends who have, and from what I understand, it's a little bit time consuming, but in the end, rewarding. So maybe someday I'll do a project of how to make your own beer. And when that day arrives, I'm sure I'll want a way to keep the beer cold and also portable. Well, there's a project in Make Volume 7 that fits the bill. It's called a convertible jockey box. And that's what we're going to build today. So join me. For the convertible jockey box project, you'll need a cooler, square or round. This one is a 15 gallon cooler. You'll need about eight feet of thick walled beer tubing, a 50 foot coil of 3 8 inch stainless steel draft coil, You'll also need a few plumbing fittings and compressor fittings, which you can get at your plumbing or hardware store, and a picnic faucet to dispense your beer. Any brass parts you use will have to have the excess lead removed, and you do that by soaking the brass parts in two parts vinegar and one part hydrogen peroxide, and about 15 minutes is what it'll take. Now it's time to get to work on our cooler, so a 3 8 inch drill bit will come in handy because we're going to drill two holes through the cooler about six inches apart and clean off any of the styrofoam or plastic that's left. Two brass nipples will be inserted through those two holes and you can either thread them in or pound them in with a hammer, which is what I did. I did need to take one more ride back to the store to pick up a few barbed hose adapter fittings with female ends because these will go on our two pipe nipples that we just installed. Now we end up with a beer in and beer outside. Now the beer inside will get a male compressor plug screwed into that and tightened up. And the beer outside gets a barbed hose adapter fitting. And now it's time for beer tubing. So we'll cut an 18 inch piece off. This will be our dispenser line and this will go to our beer outside. And with all of these connections, we're going to add a hose clamp to tighten everything down. If you have any trouble with these beer tubing connections, soak the tubing in some hot water for a few seconds and that will make it a little bit more pliable and easier to get on your fitting. The picnic faucet gets attached to the other end of our dispenser line. Now it's time for another compressor coupler, and we will attach a hose barb fitting to the one end of that, and a four inch piece of beer tubing will be attached to that end. The other end of that assembly gets attached to the inside of our beer out line. About a three foot length of beer tubing will be cut, and that will be attached to our beer in line. Now it's time to make some connections to our draft coil, so two 8-inch pieces of beer tubing will be attached to both ends of the draft coil, along with hose clamps. And the two ends of those pieces of tubing will each get a barbed hose fitting. And then those will each get two compressor plugs. Now it's time to put the draft coil in the cooler, and I tell you what, I, uh, <laughs> I was having a little bit of difficulty getting this draft coil in and realized that I needed to remove the one compressor fitting that was kind of getting in the way. So I unscrewed that and that gave me plenty of room for the draft coil, which I pushed to the bottom of the cooler and then reattached the compressor fitting. And our final two connections are the two couplers that get plugged into both of our compressor fittings. As you can see, it's a pretty compact and neat design. So the last step, of course, is to add ice. The convertible jockey box is pretty much finished. The last step would be to get a coupler that fits either your home brew keg or a commercial keg, and that'll go on the beer in line, which is this one. Now you might be wondering why it's called a convertible jockey box. Well, there's a good reason for that. You know those compressor fittings that we put in here? Well, those will allow you to pop them off, remove the draft coil, and then you could put a mini keg inside and attach the mini keg to your lines. Add some ice and your mini keg will stay cold for hours and you can also dispense it like regular draft beer. Well, that's how to make a convertible jockey box. We'll see you next time with another weekend project. Oh, and cheers.